What's up gamers, I'm John, and this is my Level Up News, where I bring you news every weekday. It's the top news I gather from around the web so you don't have to. Today's Tuesday, February 27th, 2024. Let's get you leveled up with today's news. For those veterans in Elder Ring with maxed out characters that think they will go into the DLC, Shadow of Erdtree, and dominate the new lands, think again. The DLC will have a separate leveling system that is borrowing from its older brother Sekiro. The director, Hidetaka Miyazaki, wanted to make sure that everyone will be weak once they go into the new lands. He said the new area will have a new power system, unique to the area. Think of it as whatever level you're at right now is a base, and whatever you level up in the new area will be bonus stats added to what you already have. It's their way of finding a new balance system after the main game has been bent and twisted in so many ways. There is so much good games coming out that we were expecting to hear some bad news sooner rather than later. As per usual, the bad news is a lot of people will be laid off because studio cuts. The latest studio to lay people off is Supermassive Games, the creators of Until Dawn and the Dark Pictures anthologies. Today they announced they will be reorganizing problems within the company and they plan to enter a consultation period where up to 90 people can get laid off. That's roughly 25-30% to 30 of the staff. Let's hope that doesn't go through and if people get laid off that they land on their feet and get a new job right away. Diablo 4 is a great game with many people still playing it. It isn't perfect and the transaction wizards have been releasing is an insult to the people playing the game. One player recently got the rarest rolls for a weapon that has a 1 in 175,616 chance of dropping. The weapon of choice is an ancestral unique bow called the Eagle Horn. It's supposed to be one of the toughest bows to get in the game and one would think if it's one of the toughest it's probably one of the best, but the player that claimed it says it sucks. They added bonus stats to the weapon, and it's not good. The weapon only added 5 to his dexterity. This made the community want to stop grinding for the bow because it's not worth it. Comment down below if you're still searching for that bow. With all the updates that Helldiver 2 has gotten the last two weeks, there still seems to be issues. When one update fixes one thing on the right side, the left side breaks. And when they fix the left side, something in the back says, hey, we have a problem. With the latest update, players have been experiencing a purple question mark that pops up on top of their character. Not only is it distracting, it doesn't let you access your loadouts and you can't choose your primary or secondary weapons. On top of that, some players have been experiencing weird purple flashes while the icon is on top of their character's head making it impossible to see anything happening to the screen. There are different fixes to this like picking up a weapon on the ground, another fix is going to the armory terminal and selecting weapons again, and if that doesn't work, a soft reboot of the game should do the trick. Basically, what's happening is that the game thinks you don't have anything on even if you choose your layout. I hope this glitch does happen to you guys, and if it does, I hope this video helps you out. Tekken 8 is an amazing game with some of the most coolest features in it. The character movesets for each of those characters sets this far ahead of its predecessor. And I think the one thing that makes this unique is the use of AI to learn how you fight and basically make a clone or a ghost of your fighting style so you can use it against yourself or share with friends. One of the developers lost his brother a little after the game was released and he loved it. It's a sad thing to lose family, but the devs have saved the brother's ghost and his fighting style and now he can play against them forever. I hope his brother's smiling down with a fighting stick or a controller in his hands fighting back against his brother. More bad news on layoffs. Sony is going to be letting go of 900 PlayStation employees. Jim Ryan had this to say on it. We have made the extremely hard decision to announce our plan to commence a reduction of our overall headcount globally by about 8% or 900 people. Employees across the globe, including our studios, are impacted. It sucks that Jim Ryan has to do this a month before he retires. Again, like I said earlier, I hope that the people that lose their job can on their feet and get another job soon. Pokemon Presents was today, and in the best case scenario, we will be getting a new Pokemon Legends for next year. They showed off special events on Pokemon Go, they spoke about Pokemon Sleep, they showed off a new trading card game for mobile devices, and they showed off Pokemon Legends ZA, or ZA, and it will be released in 2025. This will be the first year we don't get a Pokemon game to consoles in a long time. It's the best case scenario because 1. Pokemon Legends received mixed reviews, and 2. Power World is getting better and better and is still in early access. Let's hope that Pokemon can make something more magical than ever before. And the latest Power World update has fixed the bugs that players love to use. The bug was able to catch tower bosses and use them in battle. They have had a lot of updates and balances to the game and the tower boss bugs have been out since release date. The funny thing about the situation is that they knew about the bug and continued to let players do it. After the patch went live, they apologized for fixing it. The statement was, as a result of various bugs that we fixed in the most recent patch, a bug that allowed players to capture the tower boss was unintentionally fixed. Here's some more bugs on the way. And with that bundle of gaming news, I hope you got enough experience points to level up your gaming knowledge today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you don't miss anything new coming out. Mm -hmm.